Hey there, I'm Chris Baki from Metro Games with a quick look at Bug Bounty. According to Wired Magazine, bug bounties are programs that let security researchers submit potential flaws and vulnerabilities in a company's software. Anyone can send a report and perhaps receive a reward for helping lock down a company's systems. You are a security researching firm, or if you like a hacker crew, in today's modern world, out to hack other players and prevent others from hacking you. Score points for having the most money, some points for your hacks in your hand, and points for your reputation, most points wins. To set up, each player draws a roll card and a vulnerability dashboard. Your roll card is asymmetric and tells you how much money and how many hack cards you'll be starting with. In this case, Andronaut says I start with three ones, two fives, and two tens worth of money. I'll start with two hack cards, and I start with two reputation. You'll take a set of eight vulnerability chips and add these to your dashboard face down. I'm just showing them face up for the pitch here. But essentially this tells you how vulnerable your various systems are to a hack. These start face down and are revealed as someone hacks you. You can peek at these yourself to know which systems are critical, which ones are high, and so on. You'll want to keep this information secret because if it's revealed during gameplay, it stays face up for the rest of the game. So take care to keep this information secret. And on my turn, I can research or share, and then I'm going to hack another player. If I research, I'm going to draw three cards from the same deck, either the money deck or the hack deck, and then I'll discard one of them face up. If I share, I'll draw a card, and then I'll discard a hack card to gain the reputation on the upper right corner. So thematically speaking, when you're discarding a hack card to gain reputation, you are responsibly disclosing it to the, to the general computer population so that they can fix the problem, and that gives you reputation. There's kind of a leapfrog mechanic in the uh, reputation tracker, so instead of counting the space that you cross over someone else, you just skip that space altogether. So if I played this card to gain two reputation, instead of going one, two, I would go one, two. So after researching or sharing, it's time to hack someone. Choose who you want to hack by playing a vulnerability card face down in front of another player. You can say anything you want about this card, and you can also lie, but you must make some claim about the kind of vulnerability in it, it is. In this case, I'm targeting their servers, I could claim. The two of you begin some negotiations or bluffing back and forth, but one of three things will eventually happen. Either You'll sell them the card, you'll negotiate a price which can be money or hack cards from your hand, they then acquire that hack card into their hand, as option one. Option two, you can choose to sell to the black market. If you feel they're not making a good enough offer, you can just sell to the black market. And that's shown at the bottom of the card here. You basically discard the hack card face up, you then draw three money cards from the top of the deck, and you force them to reveal that vulnerability. So in this case, this hack was going to target their servers. They then have to flip their server chip face up, and it stays face up for the rest of the game. Option three is to hack them. If there was no deal, you'll reveal the hack card, resolve it, and then discard it face up. The player that's been hacked has to reveal their vulnerability token for that type of hack face up, if it isn't already. The player hacked might lose reputation on their tracker. They might be forced to discard cards or have cards stolen from their hand. If this had been a critical or a high vulnerability, this icon here means they would have to reveal a second vulnerability and it'd be one of their choice in addition to losing a fair bit of reputation. So once the hack card has been resolved, uh, play continues clockwise with the only rule being that the same player cannot be attacked or hacked twice in a row. Play continues clockwise, the game ends after a set number of rounds depending on the number of players. At the end of the game, each person scores one point for every hack card in their hand, and points equal to their reputation at the end of the game. Whoever has the most money scores 10 points, second most scores 6 points, third most scores 4 points, and most points wins. If there's a tie, the player with the most unrevealed tokens on their dashboard wins. If still tied, all tied players win. 
There's room for bluffing on both sides, and you're never really sure whether you're negotiating from a position of strength or weakness. This game has been pretty heavily playtested, including by at least one professional security researcher, and their feedback has helped to make the game what it is today. This has been Bug Bounty, and I've been Chris Bach of Intro Games. Thanks for watching.